Well, developing right now, this is a look at the man police say is accused of driving drunk when he hit and killed a mother and her child on the far north side last night. Marlon Daniels is facing a couple of counts of intoxication manslaughter in the deaths of Vanessa Ramos and her five-year-old son, Solomon Lopez, along Stone Oak Parkway. Now, police say Daniels' car jumped a curb and hit the two victims while they were on a sidewalk. This morning, we're taking a closer look at the crashes in that neighborhood. Over the last two years, we found that there's been 321 crashes reported in that area alone, with eight of them involving alcohol. Residents in the area are now asking for more reinforcements for safety inside their community. I think roundabouts would actually improve a lot of traffic up here. So if there's any way that that can eventually, I know that's like long term, but yeah, just uh, people don't stop. Just get more enforcement up here and start holding people accountable for their behaviors. Now here's what District 9 Councilman John Courage says is being done to crack down on rack, reckless driving. We always work with TABC to make sure that any facility that was selling alcohol is doing it within the restrictions that, that are laid out. Uh, but drinking and driving is a choice. Uh, uh, we have not had too many concerns expressed to our office directly, but maybe indirectly we're now hearing that uh, there are more people in the community who feel like we can do more. Well, Councilman Courage says no amount of traffic safety infrastructure is actually going to stop drunk drivers from getting behind the wheel. He also is looking into increasing police presence to, police presence to slow down drivers.